Welcome back. Yes, you are back with your boy Scarcious. We are in the Master League, and this right now is our final steps on our journey to legend this season. We have Mewtwo on the lead, of course. We got off a nice beam. Now they want to go for their iron head. We're going to shield it up and then we're going to overload on energy as much as we can here. And then let off a side strike, which will take out the Dialga from this range if they decide to let it go. But they decide to shield back. Can we get off the next side strike? We can. So, what do they want to do? Are they going to double shield or let it go? They double shield. Okay. I'm cool with that. Now we're going to come in with Ho Ho and go for a farm down. We're going to shield. They might bait. They don't. They full send that Draco. Attack harshly fell. And we're going to complete the full farm down. Let's go. Let's go. And they come in with Giratina. That's absolutely fine because we're so far ahead on energy. Going to offload the Brave Bird keeping track of their energy so we know that we can stay here and get off another brave bird which will take out the giratina so bye bye giratina what's in the back it is groudon okay and we debuff debuffed our defense so we get out of there because precipice blaze would have done a lot more so we want to clear that defense debuff on our ho ho so we're looking good. All we need to do is now is just chip down this Groudon. And we do that with a close combat here. So now they can do what they want to do. They're going to have to throw something here. And they are. Should be a fire punch, of course. It is. And one Precipice Blaze is not going to do much to our Ho Ho, even from this range. But we get off our charge move, offloading the Sacred Fire. And that will wrap that one up like a Christmas present. And that's GG's. Nicely done. All right, taking that W, we're moving swiftly on into the next one. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Faced up against a Shadow T-Tar, you know. Crazy, but we got an ice beam. All right, big damage. I should be throwing here, yeah. Just before we get to our next charge move, go for that brutal swing. Of course, it takes us down from there. And we can come in, get as much energy as we can with our Xerneas. And now they're gonna throw. Should be Stone Edge. Yep, they go for the slow and shield that up. And they're sticking around. Okay, they really want me to fully farm them down. That's good for me. <laughs> What's in the back? Who do you want to bring up? What's it going to be? It's going to be Lugia, okay. Offloading that moon blast. Okay. Let's build, let's build. Okay, offloading another moon blast. They will add up even onto the bulky Lugia. Okay, they shield that one. Getting off their sky attack. We survive it, swap out to Ho Ho. See where the vibe is, they're sticking around. Wonder what they got back there. It is Xerneas. Okay, that's fine with me. Let's see if we can lower their attack here with the sacred fire. We do. Okay. Not that moon blast would have been threatening to us anyway. Alright, that tickles. We're gonna look to complete a full farm down. They're yeah, offloading another moon blast. That's, oh, they're going for close combat. Okay, so not quite at the next moon blast. And now we can just offload Sacred Fire here. Can we get that debuff again? No. And we swap out and catch on our Xerneas, which is, has about 3 HP. Yeah. 
absolutely fine getting off that sacred fire which will wrap up the Lugia and that's GG's you already know the vibes okay nicely done let's take that W and move swiftly let's go alright faced up against an opposition ho ho ok let's see how this one plays out alright gonna offload that side strike here they might want to shield and then try to debuff us they let it go though that works for me now what are they going for is it going to be sacred fire or brave bird and dip yeah brave bird they should be looking to dip out but they're sticking around, they're gonna have to hold on to this side strike. I'm guessing they're gonna wanna shield and offload another charge move. Yeah, the shield there. I mean we could have gone for a catch, but no. I wanna I wanna keep switch. We should be looking to dip. No, that's really sticking around, huh? <laughs> okay, let's see what the vibe is. All right, they let that one go. All right, we're two shields down, they have one, but let's see how this one plays out. We're gonna go for the side strike here. No need to build up. And they shield it anyway, so that's perfectly fine with me. Do they wanna throw? Nope. They wanna go for the full farm down, which is absolutely fine with me. Going for that side strike. Okay, so it's in close combat range now. So let's see what they want to do here. Because I want Iron Head ain't going to take us out. They decide to dip out trying to catch instead. Nope, I'm just going to overload here. And then go for that Moon Blast which will do big damage. Let's go, as you can see. Farm down, they don't even get off a charge move. What do they want to do here? They're throwing, but we will survive the Iron Head. They need two Iron Heads. And we still have Ho Ho in the back, which may not need to be called upon. And that's exactly what this is. So that's looking like GG's. You already know the vibes. Nicely done. All right, taking that W, let's move swiftly into the next one. All right, faced up against a Zacian here. We definitely don't mind this. We love to see it. We too don't mind seeing them fairies, man. Offloading the side strike here. Let's see how they're feeling, right? Like. They let that one go. They normally do let the first one go, and then they'll try for a wild charge and dip out, or they just stay and have to go down. But they throw a player up here. They're running player up. That's absolutely fine. We're gonna throw here. How they feeling, like? They're shielding, okay. They want to make a play for Switch, do they? Okay, let's see what the vibe is. Because they're going to have to give up two shields if they want to make a play for Switch. They go for Wild Charge there. So it's a play worth Wild Charge Zation. Okay. Okay. Sending that side strike. They go down there. They didn't fancy giving up a second shield. So what do they want to bring in? It's going to be Groudon. Okay, you already know that Groudon's going to be met of our Ho-Ho. Let's see if they fancy dipping out. Okay, they're sticking around to offload the Precipice Blaze. Do they want to dip out after that or stick around? Let's see what the vibe is. They dip out after that and they dipped into Lugia. So we've swapped out into our Xerneas. You already know Xerneas is resisting them Dragon Tails. Offload the moon blast. Okay, we're throwing a charge move here, that's absolutely fine. Because it's just a sky attack which tickles. You're just stacking, you already know what it is. Get off another moon blast. Okay, Lugia's very low now. Okay, we're gonna shield there, preserve some health. Maybe look to farm down from this range, but they decided to dip out, so we dip out. And it's back to Ho Ho versus Groudon. They're gonna go for Precipice Blades, of course. That's absolutely fine. Now we're gonna get off that Sacred Fire. How are they 
feeling here. They decide to shield, that's absolutely fine. We're gonna go for the Brave Bird now, which will wrap up that Groudon. So say night night to Groudon. All right, Lugia comes back, but we're gonna get off that charge move before it has any sort of play, any sort of decision making. And that's a wrap, and that's GG's. Nicely done. Okay, so we are moving into the last one. Let's get him. Faced up against a ho ho. Okay, a lot of ho hos nowadays, huh? This one's shiny flexing. But it's ran into our Mewtwo. So they got some decision making to do. Had a feeling like on the first side strike they let it go. That's big damage. And now they're gonna offload their first charge move. It is Brave Bird. And then they dip out instantly into their Lugia. So their Lugia's met with our Xerneas. Let's go, man. Offloading the first Moon Blast. Let's go. And I've made use of a shield here, so I'm thinking that they're gonna think that I'm not gonna use a second shield. So I'm expecting them to go Aero Blast, and they do. But we let that go, that's absolutely fine. Right, Moon Blast, and now their loot is very low. Okay, loading the Moon Blast here. This will take them out if they decide not to shield. What do they want to do? They let it go, keeping hold of their two shields. But we meet them with our Mewtwo. We're not letting them farm down, of course. Do they want to shield? Yes, they do. And then they swap out into the Dialga. Absolutely fine with stacking that energy. What do they want to do here? They let that go, okay. We're gonna throw another one here. How they feeling like give me them shields? No. So it's still one shield apiece. Come in with our ho ho instantly for a farm down. What do they want to throw? Thunder, okay. Okay, come on, can we get that full farm down? Of course we can. What do they want to do? Because we're offloading Brave Bird here. Had a feeling that they've got to shield. They do shield. And then we swap out. Offloading the Moon Blast. This will bring them low. Yep, very low. They're not going to be able to do anything here. Our ho is still in the back. So they can't do nothing and that's G to the G. Nicely done. And that was the final run. As we proceeded to hit legend. Thank you guys for following the journey this season. It's much appreciated. You all take care now. See you in the next season. Peace.